Waste my time anyway. Oh. You could have stepped in. I thought you had it covered. Just wait till you're old. I'll be at camp if you need me. Maybe try keeping your mouth shut next time. Oh, come on. <laughs> You'd all be bored as rocks without me. It's a... Be quiet with that. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I I I've done bad things, but... A jail... A jail ain't where I belong. This the help you're looking for? Greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Great. Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. You. Geld. Money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. In the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! But she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Yep. New Yorkers. She. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? Shut the hell up. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. Hey, John Marston, right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Uh, uh, Milliken, is it? <laughs> yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four, Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12. Hey, come back here. You'll have to catch me. And you're much smaller, like a jockey. 